down. So, we're here in the car. Why? <laughs> because I'm getting a shot tonight. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe it. Because, you know, of course, when the vaccines were rolling out, you know, the people, the frontline people, older people, all that, you know, they got the shots first. So, from, luckily, I had got a notification from uh, Maddie's school saying that they were gonna do it, but then when I tried to sign up, it was closed. So, I was like, you know what? I know that they um, are giving it out at like pharmacies or um, CVS and up, you know, all those places like CVS, Walgreens and stuff. So, I so said, let me just check and see. So, I went to um, AGB and apparently they had some slots open and they had the they had a variety they had or they had Moderna and Johnson and Johnson and also saw they had Pfizer too but that's at another location so I said if I'm gonna get it I'll just do the one and done uh, the big guy he actually got his shot Hi. <laughs> he got his shot what it's been a month already? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, he got his and he got the same thing and he's fine. So, oh, I'm nervous because I don't like shots. Wow, that truck really. <laughs> I don't like needles. That's why I don't have tattoos. I know, like, oh, most people I know have tattoos and I want a tattoo, but I don't want to deal with the needles. Like, that's. The thing. <laughs> I'm scared of the needles, so that's why I don't have a tattoo. But. Yeah, like IVs. I don't like IVs, but they have to prick me every time, apparently. So, <laughs> but yeah, anywho, so I'm about to go and get the shot. I'm nervous, but I just pray to God that everything goes well. And I know it's the right thing to do, especially in these conditions, you know, in the world. And you know, I just want things to go back to normal. So, obviously, I have to do my part especially with my kids, you know, because they can't get anything right now. So I want to make sure that we're keeping them safe too. So have you guys had the shot yet? If you have, which one did you get? And how did you feel afterwards? Because it doesn't help. Let me tell you, if you haven't gotten a shot yet, do not do this. Do not go on TikTok the night before and try to find advice. Because <laughs> I was telling him, like, I watch a lot of doctors and, um, people that study viruses and stuff like that on TikTok. So it's good to get legit information from people who are knowledgeable about these things. But the people who are like, you know, sharing the negative, not like side effects or anything, but like just being wholeheartedly negative about the situation, it does not make it better, okay? I do feel like, you know, this, I don't wanna say it's like being pushed upon us, but like, I just feel like, just just give me a chance to like just think about it but everybody that I know that are close to me you know they got it and they're all fine and everybody's reacted to it differently like some people are completely fine some people have sore arms so take it from me don't look on TikTok <laughs> and try to get information the night before because yes you'll find good information but then the bad ones it's not good for your spirit so Anywho, we're pulling up soon, and ah, I'll give you guys up to date with my reaction, because I pray. Now, when we got the flu shot, we got the flu shot earlier this year, and we were fine. So, just pray for the same. You know, I'll take a sore arm in being super fatigued any day. All right, you guys. I don't know if you can hear me, but I did it. Ooh. I did it. I got this shot. I got, I got the vaccine. I did it. Still can't believe it. Oh my goodness. So, so far I'm good. Um, we had to stay in there. Because after you take it. Oh, it's dark. Sorry, y'all. After you take it, you have to stay in there for a couple of minutes just to monitor. And make sure that you're okay. So, I did and we're actually in there longer because we just went grocery shopping. We got our grocery shopping. You hear them play Snoop Dogg. I'm singing it. I was like, okay, let me find out. So yeah, we got our grocery shopping done. Just bought a few things. <laughs> it's still 165. Oh my gosh. Yeah, our grocery trips are just 
I mean, and it's but we need this stuff. That's the thing. <laughs> we gotta eat. We gotta have food. So. Place we can come so. Yeah, God is good. So, yeah, who He is blasting that Snoop Dogg over there. He must have been getting it. He must be having a good day. <laughs> you guys, I got the vaccine, and uh, right now, like I said, my arm just, I, I think I said it out there, but my arm hurts. But, um, that's how I felt after we took the uh, flu shot earlier this year. Um, my arm just hurt after we took the flu shot and stuff, so. Yeah, but so far so good. Pray stays this way, and we'll just continue to monitor me because I mean he was fine when you took your shot. You were fine. And yeah. He was just aching. I, I used it as an excuse to go to bed early. He did because he did go to bed early. <laughs> like he was tired and out, but then you were fine the next day though, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean I got up and work and everything. That was yeah, everybody just reacts to things differently. So, I'm like, for real, like, even when we were in there, like, I started, like, thinking, and, like, I felt myself, like, getting nauseous, and I'm like, see, gotta be careful what you think, you know? <laughs> and I'm learning, I'm learning. So, anyways, we're about to finish our errands, then, oh my gosh, I'm just to pick up the kids. Like, it's like, as soon as we drop them off to school, like, the day just goes by so fast. We got an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go get Tristan a new car seat for here because that one's getting a little old. So yeah. So I just want to come on here and say goodnight first and foremost. But um just to let you guys know how I'm doing. So so far I'm good. Um I did have a little headache and um I took some Tylenol. Um because I didn't really sleep well last night. Um Tristan was in one of those He's in this like sleep regression phase where he's like going to bed, but then he's waking up in the middle of the night because I'm not with him. And um, I mean, he sleeps through the night for the most part, but he has those nights when he wants to be cuddled up on mommy. And you guys can see he is, <laughs> he's right. The big guy's getting his workout in before get in the bed and then hopefully they'll be asleep and he'll take them upstairs so that way I can get a good night's rest and be better tomorrow. So I'm glad that it opened up because you know for the general public it was hard for you know people to get it. Our Maddie's district was offering it to teachers and students and family members of students within the district but like I said it had closed so I was like oh my gosh I'm never gonna get it so I just randomly went on to um you know H-E-B to see if they had any and they had it so where a lot of people were getting it they only had one type or you know they just ran out quickly so I'm just glad that um I'm just glad that they had a variety and I Got it. So I'll keep you guys posted because it hasn't been 24 hours, but it's been it's been eight hours, it's been eight, eight nine hours. So yeah, but I'm exhausted. I am tired. I am ready to go to bed. I'm about to turn my little diffuser on. I love this little thing. It's so cute. I got it at Home Goods, and I just absolutely love it. I put peppermint. I have peppermint oil here. I, I put this peppermint oil, and you guys can see, I put it in there, and it is just amazing. And it like it really helps Mommy. me to go to sleep and to be relaxed when I'm sleeping. All right, so let me stop rambling and talk your heads off, and let me go to bed so I can get me a full. Oh, it'd be nice to get a full eight hours to nine hours of sleep. Oh, we shall see. You. shopping so yes I flower shopping with my guys because after that Texas storm it ruined everybody's plant and ours were destroyed as well so we are here to get some nice flowers for our yard um, we tried to come here came here what two weeks ago we came we went flower shopping like two weeks ago but everything was gone because everybody's looking for plants and stuff so here we are now, we're going to get in 
some gardenias here. I really like those plants over there. I think th those are indoor plants, right? Yeah, I think, the, I think those are indoor plants that I like over there. But I have to do like research on like indoor plants and stuff. It's a little foggy in here, so Hi. if it looks foggy, it's because it's really humid in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, thank you, baby. It's so sweet. Oh, he is so sweet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They should help a little. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so we got our plants here and all the stuff needed. So hopefully our plants are gonna be good. Because we had a garden last year, I think I told you guys, but we're not doing that this year because it is way too hot to have a garden here and it just didn't last. It didn't work out how we thought it was gonna work out. So we we'll love a garden, but we we'll have to do some research on that. What'd you have, man? Oh, got a chair. <clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? So, I just want to come on here real quick just to, um, I guess, give you guys an update of how I've been feeling since getting the shot or whatever because it's been a couple of days, it's been five days so far. And I realized I didn't finish the vlog the other day because it's just been a week. So I was like, you know what, well, let me just give it a couple of days to kind of get back to myself and um, then I can share, you know, how I feel and everything else. So, like I said, it's been five days already and now I feel like I'm finally getting back to myself and when i say that i mean like i'll say about the first two days after getting the shot i really wasn't feeling like myself and i i, I assume it was just my body kicking in my immune system you know getting whatever it's supposed to get and everything and i just didn't feel like myself not saying that i was sick necessarily but i just didn't feel like myself so let's just go back to um when i got shot so as you guys saw at the beginning i got the covid vaccine and everything and it took me a while to do it just simply because i I'm not for one, like I said, I'm just not a person that likes needles. I don't like shots. I don't like IVs. I don't, that's why I don't have a tattoo. Like I would love a tattoo, but I do not like needles for some reason. Like I have three piercings or six piercings and that doesn't phase me. But when it comes to like needles, I'm just not a fan of it. So that was the big part of it. But I was more so concerned about the after effects because that's where a lot of people were sharing about the vaccine as far as like the side effects. So I think I was more so afraid of the side effects and how my body would react more so to the shot itself. Of course, I would do my research on, you know, ingredients and all of that. You know, I'm just a just I'm a creature of habit. It's like I have to know things before I do it. I've just been following along, watching um, epidemiologists on um, TikTok, you know, legit doctors and, you know, just doing my own research and everything. Now, when it came to which one I wanted to give, I knew I wanted to get the single dose just because I just wanted to get it over with and done. And the vast majority of the people that I know in my life or online it's like that they have gotten the vaccine and everybody has had different reactions some people didn't have any at all some people had headaches some people had fever everybody that i know reacted to it differently and i guess that's what kind of scared me because i was like okay well i don't know how it's gonna you know react to me because when i get flu shots like oh it's like i'm a little run down for like a couple of hours and then boom i'm good but being that this is something new that i've never had i was just afraid of like how my body will react so i didn't know which one i wanted to get either the moderna or pfizer because everybody had either like I said, people I talked to either got Moderna or Pfizer and everybody reacted to it differently. So, like I said, I just wanted to get the one and done and I really didn't hear much, many people talking about it. I guess it wasn't given out everywhere or a lot of people didn't get it. So, I didn't know who to ask or who to talk to to see what this Johnson Johnson was going to do. So, 
um the big guy actually got that and he was fine like i said he was just achy and just tired the first day but then the next day he was fine just monitoring him and just seeing how he you know was post um the shot i was like okay well he's good <laughs> he was fine once i got the shot um but then when nighttime came i don't know if it was just because it was really hot at night because here it's always it's hot all day long all year pretty much all year round so we had went for a walk and it was still like 95 degrees and all of a sudden like my head started hurting and then we came back and then my body started like it, i guess it was just kicking in and i don't know if the heat did it i don't know i don't know but your girl was mm, i was out of commission okay so then um that night um just um, just as just to be real um so that night i did experience some heart racing but i think it was more so of the thought of me having the vaccine in me because every time i thought about the fact that i did it and i got the shot i got nervous i got anxious and i told you guys about my anxiety and how i'm working on it and i'm healing from it and everything so when i have these anxious thoughts or like these bad thoughts I, in my body reacts to that and so every time i thought man i got the shot i can't believe i did it it's in me i got nervous and it got so bad to the point where i just started just feeling those effects and so then the next day after i got the shot then that's when they shared that it was going to be paused because of the cases that they found Bruh. That didn't sit well. That didn't sit well with me. How's one supposed to feel knowing that they got that and then this happened? But that day, I just got off social media and I just took a break because I was not 100%. And then to hear that, I just started feeling all types of ways. So after I got myself together, I started feeling a little better. Um, I still had a little headache. I think it's just because I think the headaches were more so because I have not been sleeping well. Like I said, the day I got the shot, I was nervous about having it and everything that I didn't sleep well that night. The next night, I just couldn't sleep well because of that news and then everything going on in the news. So I just said, I got to stop with this news stuff, okay? And then, um, I just monitored myself you know I monitored my temperature I didn't have a fever um, my body was just aching and it, but it was like mild these were mild symptoms that I had with this um, vaccine I'm just sharing this because like I said I don't know anybody else that got um, this one dose shot and I just like I said I just want to share because when they do I don't know if they're gonna roll it out anymore I don't know but if you do get it just this is my experience and if you did get it um how do you feel or how did you feel after you got it and how you feel about getting it knowing that this situation happened i started feeling a lot better as the days went by and now i feel a lot more better i feel energized so you know i just want to share my experience because i know a lot of people are iffy or you know hearing this and that i don't want to make this divisive i don't want this to be political or anything because i feel like even though it does feel like they're pushing us i pray that it doesn't get to the point where they're going to force people to get something that they don't want to get because they don't force us to get flu shots i know in some occupations or some jobs they require you to get the flu shot because of the setting and everything i pray that it doesn't get to the point because this stuff is still new there's still trials and there's still research like they still don't even know the effects of long haul COVID effects you know they're still studying that i pray that whatever people decide to do is for their greater good so if you don't get it that's totally fine if you do get it that's totally fine you know i don't want people to feel that if you did do it you're stupid or if you don't do it you're stupid like I, you know i just hate it it breaks my heart to see that argument online i pray this is gets better because after the year we had with 2020 like you know that really 
that really did a number to a lot of us in so many ways financially mentally emotionally it really did a number on a lot of people and now with this situation you know it's taken a toll on a lot of people too because some people want to get it but they're afraid or they don't want to get it and you know that's their right so it's just one of those things where like we just have to give each other grace and compassion on what we or what people choose to do or not to do um and that's why i'm hoping that it doesn't get to the point where it's like oh well you can't get on this plane because you don't have your shot or um you can't we don't want you around here because you got that vaccine and you know like the world is already dividing as is and just seeing the way things are going when it comes to this it's it's heartbreaking but i just been you know i just pray to god and i just pray for you know health strength and things to get better and you know just knowing how bad covid 19 was like when i hear people talk about what they experienced when they had covid not the vaccine covid as a as the thing when i hear people's stories they say i will shoot i'll take the vaccine any day then to have covid again and that right there is just you know it's it, it breaks my heart just knowing how many lives innocent lives were taken because of this and i just it, it's just it breaks my heart yes obviously the one dose shot is on pause right now but that's my experience and you know i'll definitely keep you guys up to date if you guys care to know i'll keep you guys posted um you know next two weeks or so and everything but you know i just want things to get better so if you are weary or iffy about getting the shot pray about it y'all just pray about it i'm telling you god will lead you to do exactly what he feels you should do because some people feel led to do it some people don't and that's fine that's okay you just gotta do what's best for you and do what's best for your loved ones and you know just see people having big gatherings already oh. big parties <laughs> weddings you know i just pray that people are doing their part to keep the people that, that they're in contact with safe because covid's still out there y'all it's still out there so we gotta we gotta stay safe we gotta do our part and just you know do what we have to do to stop the spread because i want to travel i want to go be on somebody's island right now like i want to travel and not worry about the things that i don't want to worry about so yeah but that's my experience um let me know if you got your shot or if you didn't or you plan to or not and how'd you feel and everything and so if you guys care to know i'll keep you guys posted and i'll see you guys in the next one bye I'll say peace. No. <laughs> He's <says> it's early. <laughs> oh.